All right, it's late tonight, but we are getting an update. Kelly Tipple doing the Heart of the South Adventure, 348 miles. Of course, Kelly, Elizabethtown Police Department officer, uh, school resource officer within uh, Elizabethtown Independent Schools, and local runner. Day seven of his adventure, and he is there. We just can't see you, can we, Kelly? No, as long as I can see, I guess that's that's the main thing. It's been a great day, though. That little glimpse, we got just a little glimpse there. That's the first little glimpse I've even had of your face in like three minutes that we've talked off. Uh, yeah, this camera. yeah, well, you might, you might get more views without it. So, <laughs> All right, so day seven, uh, how far out are you? I uh, just passed uh, 50 miles left in the race probably a mile or two ago. And I'm going to stop up here at Dunlap Hotel. Should so I end up with maybe about 46 or 45, 46 miles left in the race. Okay, so you're 298 miles, if my math is correct. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. So uh, the updates, so we'll get an update from you, but just the update of the race. Nine people have finished, 16 people have quit, and there are 57 people still out on the road, 144 hours in. Now, if my math is correct, had, you could potentially finish tomorrow, but you're not going to do that. Huh. Yeah, if I want to do a 50 miler, which I was running, I was running 13 minute miler miles there a minute ago. I'm like, huh? Then I looked, I'm like, my gosh, I got four more miles to go. Right, I got, I got to stop <laughs> and and get on Facebook because my my phone's been down all day. So I had a bunch of Facebook posts and whatever text and all kind of stuff to go through so i'm just now finally getting to the, getting around doing all that killing some time so you had another phone issue today what happened with your phone today yeah I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the same issue uh from yesterday and that's just all this rain you know it just got in the port i was thinking that the cord was bad or whatever but I, after trying to research a little bit last night i decided it was probably a moisture issue so i finally found a dollar general and got a bag of rice and shoved it down in there for a couple hours and I'm up to 100%. So that's a great thing because I was like, man, what what are my options? I'm going to borrow somebody's phone. I'm going to call my wife, tell them to call the race directors and tell them where I'm at and so they know. Um, Otherwise, after about an hour or two of not reporting, they call your emergency contact. (laughs) So if my wife wouldn't know I had issues and they called her, she'd flip out. I'd say so. Yeah. All right, so, so I got that avoided anyway. Now, now I got a light issue. <laughs> so if it's not one thing, it's something else, huh? Well, again, ultra running is life, baby. You got problems and you got you to fix it or you cry about it. Or like Goggins says, you get all poopy pants. I mean, what are you going to do? Get get it done, dude. Let's go. Got to keep plugging and chugging. All right. So yep. what, what adventures have we got today? What happened today? Man, it's really actually been a other than the rain again and that came later on uh, in the day it's been a really good day slept in got up getting miles in i found a client this huge i saw this on my uh on my on my watch that there was going to be a big freaking climb coming up i thought well, i wonder what the heck that's going to be yeah well it went on for maybe three four or five miles of this windy road climb just a hellacious climb. But having all my GDR and drug death race training, it really didn't bother me. I just kind of hiked up the top of it when I got up there. There's a little hacienda up there, which I just sent you some, uh, I think I sent you a picture of it. Yeah. Got me got me a chicken, uh, chicken burrito or something. I don't know. What it, yeah. Got some carbs, man. Got some beans and rice. And it was awesome. I got a, got a, a Coke, you know, one of those, Cokes they have from Mexico. I think they have a little more sugar in them, or they have cane sugar in them. So yeah, pure cane sugar. That was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. And then when I got down to the bottom of the hill, I got down into a little town. I can't even remember, remember the name of it now. They had a little ice cream shop there. I sent you some pictures of that. And the guy was like, "Hey, yeah, you're one of the runners. So what can I, what can I do for you?" So hand scooped out, made me a chocolate with big old chunks of banana milkshake and. I just kicked it out on the porch here for a little bit, and then I got me a moon pie to go. So yeah, it was it was a, it was a good morning, and then the rain came. So it is what it is. It, 
I tell people all the time when we when they ask about running, you know, why do you like running trails and things? And I say because trail running is different than road running because when or in, in ultra running because when you do road running, they give you bananas and yeah. uh, goose yep. and stuff like that. But when you're trail running or doing ultras, you can pretty much eat whatever you want, like you and the moon pies and the milkshakes and hey. all that. That was funny you say that because I, I post those pictures of Mary Ellen Lunsford. I'm sure you probably probably know her. She comes, she, she says, I didn't know runners ate like that. I'm like, well, that's why I like ultra and trail running. Man, I just, whatever I'm in the mood for, I eat it. <laughs> it's a fat, it's former fat guy. He loves this stuff, man. Awesome. I, I tell people I'm an I eat runner, not an elite runner. I run so I can eat. So unfortunately, lately I've been eating and not running as much. So yeah, I'm no, that you, around. It, no, that happened. I put on about 30 pounds that I that I dropped. Uh, I dropped 30 pounds heading into this race to get ready for it because I had that happen to me. So also, since you have a picture, uh, well, that's probably the last picture there of these two little girls. That's that was a great my story. Next question for you. Yeah. yeah. So. Lady, uh, it was shortly after coming down those hills, I think, before I got to the milkshake. Or it might have been after, like, I don't remember. But lady pulled over. She's like, hey. She goes, uh, you're getting ready to get on 127. She said, uh, y uh, the, the Hoss Runners came down 127 last year. I said, yeah, I, I ran it last year. She goes, oh, you're going to go right by my house. She goes, I work for Life Care Centers of America. She goes, and uh, where I work is up the road where you just came. She goes, I've been seeing y'all all day, so I loaded up the car. You want some waters? She goes, I, I just, we wait for this. She goes, we get on the, we get on the Facebook page, see where y'all are. She goes, my mom, she's all follows you guys. My kids are so excited, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, there's a whole bunch more people coming. You can get ready for them. So I said, well, it was nice to meet you, whatever. And off she went. Well, went on through town. I think it was before the milkshake, because I went in town, got a milkshake. I get on 127, start running. I look over. This lady standing there with two kids. So I, they're waving at me. I go over there and I'm like, hey, you met my daughter earlier today. She said she just passed you coming. You know, she knew you were coming this way. So she called me and told me, get the kids out there because they wanted to meet one of them runner people. Super awesome people. Loved on the kids for a little bit. They didn't care. I stunk. They still loved on me. <laughs> That that's cool stuff. And you know, again, every day there's there's some story you've got that uh, of an experience that you're not going to experience it any other way. So uh, no, you, you're no. definitely filling up your jar of experiences. Man, the cookies are going in. I, I, I went. I ran by a subway. Saw a uh, police cruiser sitting out there. I ran in there. Met two uh, officers in there. I think I was the same town with the milkshake in it. Gave them a couple challenge coins. So I think I'm up to like. Seven, eight officers I've met. I've I keep trying to give these coins away because I, I consider them a burden, you know, because it's a weight. And so on mine, I'm like, hey, I'll give these away. They keep giving me some. So <laughs> I've probably given seven of them away and picked up four probably. Uh, that's all right. Yeah. Well, uh, so what's your plan? So you slept late today. And so you've yep. got another four-ish miles to finish tonight as we do this interview, which uh, for those, it's 11 o'clock Eastern time, a little bit after 11. Yeah, I'm in central right over here now. Yeah. So uh, what's your plans for tomorrow? Are you going to get up early and knock out some miles, or are you going to sleep in a little bit and just kind of go on cruise control for a while? I, I, I'm, I, the last few days, I've, I've not been setting an alarm. I've just been letting my body do its thing, you know. Like this morning, I woke up, and I was like, all right, let's go. So I'm probably going to do the same thing, get in shower ice bath maybe eat a little something and when i get tired which is usually pretty quick i start looking on facebook or whatever and then boom i'm asleep i'll just whenever i get up my wife's coming down tomorrow night and she's got a hotel for two nights the hotel that we got is kind of considered race headquarters if you will you have to go buy that to get to the rock and so they didn't do it last year they started with uh ball state so you got to pick up a tracker uh, when you go by there in the hotel lobby, it's about a, I don't know if it's about 13, 14 miles up to the rock, but that way the uh, race directors don't have to camp up there all the time. They they know what time, you know, oh my gosh, the guy's taking an hour to do a mile, you know, we don't need to run up there yet. And that way they'll go up there. So I'm probably going to cruise in there, shower up, and then uh, Friday morning just ease up there and be up there when the sun comes up and finish this sucker off. 
That's the plan, anyway. Knocking them out. So, again, this is the Heart of the South Adventure, as Kelly dubbed it early on. 348 miles that he started in North Carolina, going to finish in Georgia. This is day seven of that adventure and 298-ish miles underneath his belt and a little less than 50 miles to go. So, Kelly, uh, again, appreciate your time to de- tonight. I know uh, it's probably a little more challenge. You're holding a light and, and trying to do this here. but uh, it's, Finding the joy in the journey, buddy. Finding the joy in the journey. That you are, and I'm, I'm enjoying the journey with you, but uh, I'm just not smelling as bad. So. <laughs> You get that. You get those miles knocked out. Get that ice bath. Yes, get sir. some food in you, and uh, we look forward to getting uh, the day eight update tomorrow. All right. Have a great night.